Welcome back, all our viewers from around the world. We're still reaching you from Ethiopia. We are sure that you're getting this message because this is an exciting message mm -hmm. Pastor Chris is uh, sharing with us. This is your indwelling teacher. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So we'll uh, continue what Pastor is uh, telling us. So Pastor continues. Welcome and encourage the ministry, the ministry of the Holy Spirit in your life. You can ask and receive guidance in any situations as you require. That he lives in you means you have access to all wisdom of God, for he is the spirit of wisdom. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Well, on the first part of this daily devotional, Pastor Chris is uh, telling us the ministry of the Holy Spirit, how he is indwelling in us, how he guides us in all the details of life. And on this paragraph that you just read, Pastor is telling us the how part, you know? Yes. How, how, how should we be, you know, taking advantage of this uh, Holy Spirit dwelling in us? So Pastor is uh, telling us that we should ask the Holy Spirit to guide us. We should communicate with the Holy Spirit so that we should be taking advantage of his guidance mm -hmm. because he, he lives in us. He's too close to us and we should be able to take, you know, advantage of this really great privilege. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And the other thing is, uh, Pastor is saying that, you know, th the fact that we have Holy Spirit living in us it will give us an access to all the wisdom. Hallelujah. He is our access to the wisdom of God. He is our access to the wisdom, the heavenly wisdom. Hallelujah. Praise, Praise the, Lord. the Lord. Praise the Lord. And pastor is explaining here that it's our part to activate or encourage the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit is already in us, mm -hmm. but there is a, a part that should be played by each one of us as Christians should always encourage, activate the ministry of the Holy Spirit in us. And through that, we will receive guidance. We will receive counsel from Holy Spirit. And we will know what to do in every aspect of our lives. That's Praise the Lord. True. Hallelujah. Yeah. Pastor Chris continues. This means you can function in his wisdom when you face challenging situations or seem to be in a crossroads. One of the surest ways to activate his power and wisdom in, in you is through speaking in tongues. As you speak in tongues, your spirit with, is sensitized to receive the wisdom you require to handle different issues and deal excellently in all your affairs. Mm -hmm. wow. wow. Pastor Chris is telling us, you know, how we can activate Amen. the power and wisdom of Holy Spirit in us. Amen. That is speaking in tongues mm -hmm. hallelujah praise the lord because the bible tells us that he that speaks in tongues edifies himself mm -hmm. he builds up himself mm -hmm. so speaking in tongues is a very important aspect of a christian we should always speak in tongues pastor told us that we should spend uh, in our prayer time, time yes. to speak more in tongues so one of the ways that we activate the ministry or the work of the Holy Spirit is through speaking in tongues. So we should always do this on a daily basis, on a regular basis. That's very true. One of the things that Holy Spirit does in, uh, in us is he makes us sensitive. You know, our spirit will be sensitive to mm -hmm. receive from God. Mm -hmm. So that sensitivity will come into us so that we, 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 you know, we, we receive the heavenly you know, wisdom and we, we start exercising the power of God. Amen. And the pastor is also sharing to us on the last statement of the paragraph. He said that to handle different issues and to deal, to deal excellently in all affairs. So Holy Spirit will help us not just to deal with things, but to deal with them excellently to That's the right. utmost. So we walk in perfection mm -hmm. with Holy Spirit guidance. So we should always recognize, we should always activate, we should always encourage and welcome the ministry of the Holy Spirit in our lives. So with the guidance of the Holy Spirit, we will walk in the right way as we need to walk. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What Amen. a powerful message. Indeed. Praise the Lord. Amen. With that, we'll take the prayer. Amen. Dear Father, Dear Father, I thank you for granting me wisdom by the Spirit. 
I thank you for granting me wisdom by the Spirit. And through the Word. And through the Word. I deal excellently in all my affairs. I deal excellently in all my affairs. Today. Today. Walking in your perfect will. Walking in your perfect will. And guided in the path of righteousness. And guided in the path of righteousness. In Jesus' name. In amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. What Praise a powerful Lord. and deep message it has been. Hallelujah. Amen. So for further study, you can read 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 2, which reads, For he that speaketh in a known tongue speaketh not unto men, but unto God. For no man understands him, howbeit in the spirit he speaks mysteries. Hallelujah. The other Praise scripture the is from uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 12. It says, Now we have received not the spirit of the word, but the Spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. Hallelujah. Praise if you are on the uh, one-year Bible reading plan, today's scripture is Acts 17, 16 to 34, and Job chapter 6 to chapter 8. And if you are on two-year Bible reading plan, you can read Luke chapter 6 from verse 39 to 49, and Deuteronomy chapter 33. And with that, we'll be taking a short break and we'll leave you with a special segment. Stay tuned. In different brands, in different formats, Rap City of Realities, the world's number one devotional is changing lives, one person at a time. Whoever you are, wherever you are, there's a word for you in Rap City of Realities. Introducing a revolutionary movement a people set to change the world the Rhapsody Mandate Network RMN the Rhapsody Mandate Network RMN is a network of partners who are committed to making Rhapsody of Realities the number one most read book in their local T second only to the Bible thus increasing the reach and penetration of our message they are committed to impacting their world impacting their local T with the Rhapsody of Realities. The objective is to make Rhapsody of Realities the number one most read book in our homes, offices, streets, cities, nations, second only to the Bible. The stage is set. The ball has been set rolling. Be a part of this revolution. Join the Rhapsody Mandate Network, RMN today. And don't forget, anyone can be a part of the network make Rhapsody of Realities the number one book in the whole world, second only to the Bible. For more information, please call the following numbers. God bless you. Welcome back, viewers. Today, Pastor has shared with us a deep and very important message. We trust that you have been blessed, and we trust that you will put what you have learned to work. With that, we're winding up today's Rhapsody of Reality reading. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow. Until then, keep, keep reading your Rhapsody of Realities. God bless you. I love my rhapsody.